chop you, chop you. will be different than like, if you stop, that you beat that, you that, you that, or whatever. Um, and then if you have a song that's super swing, yeah. maybe it's been infectious, you might not Big be Big swing, song. New Orleans, jazz music, small combos from the 30s and 40s. Uh, big band from the 50s with uh, Sinatra and Anita Ray. It's all good. It's all good for dancing. It's going to make you dance in a different way. But it has different rhythms. Even the melodies itself, itself are, are written differently and have a different rhythm within them. So we worked on, uh, for example, one song in three different versions. Start looking at different songs and finding all the different versions of them. It's going to be the arrangements are going to make you do different things and they're going to make you dance in a different way. So we talked a lot about how you dance. Why the same song? Because you're going to know and remember the melody, and you're going to be looking at different stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're going to be familiar with the melody. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we talked about chunkiness, swinging, soft feeling. Uh, then we talked about melody, and uh, we touched a touch different subject. The first one was the height, like going down, uh, going down, going up, somewhere in between. The changes in between, how we can uh, use that to our advantage. Mm -hmm. We also talked about, we'll show you in a minute, kind of all the elements together. We talked about stretching things out, so we were dancing right close together, on your swing, all the dancing. Well, depending on how much space you have on that. Stretching in terms of form, not necessarily rhythm. So it's not, a, oh, we're not talking about breaks, we're just talking, even if we're talking about triple steps, we can stretch them out. Or keep them real close. Yeah. And then we can go into stretching out the rhythm. So something that would take one count takes two or three. So it's, it's elongating, it's suspending um, uh, the rhythm. So we had that. Uh, versus staccato. So having something uh, very um, on the beat or taking a few beats to do what you normally take one beat to do. Yeah. Um, um, what was next? So stretching, then we uh, focused on that a bit, all right? And then we, uh, we actually learned a few moves and um, looked into different ways of, ways of executing those moves. Of course, everything has to do with what the music is telling us or inspiring us to do. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's just dance. All right, we'll dance for you and we'll try to... We'll try to use those moves, we'll be a tap turn and we had a break and then pass. Take our favorite song of the day. 